All right, it's time for another math. Easy. So we're going to discuss part two of the economics, marginal cost versus marginal revenue series. And uh, look at, uh, yeah, just the example series. And basically, last video I did example one here. I didn't have enough time to do example two. But now we'll do example two here. Basically, it states the store has been selling 200 DVD players uh, a week at $350 each. And a market survey indicates that for each $10 rebate offered, Remember, rebate is just a refund back to the consumer, $10 to buyers. The number of DVD players sold will increase by 20 a week here. So now the question is, find the demand function and the revenue function, and how large a, a rebate should the store offer to maximize revenue? Because so as you can see here that it, even though you're giving back uh, $10 here, it, it's the study indicates that you're going to increase the sales, so you might actually increase revenue in this case. And in this case, you actually do. So now let's go for the first part of the question, find demand revenue functions. Well, the demand function, as you recall from my earlier video, you can see the video link below. It's just a, or called the price function. And it's just basically the cost per item that you're selling at X amount of items you have. And initially, you have P of X, or uh, we'll just call this P of X. So initially, it's just going to be 350 it's just selling it at, at 350 this one when it has 200 here it's selling 350 each but now uh, and this indicates that if we increase from the like let's say for the, for the buyers here if we give them back ten dollars it's increasing by 20 so if we offer the rebate we're gonna have basically a ratio of ten dollar rebate per 20 change in uh, and, and DVD players sold basically times this X amount of change X minus 200 or this amount of DVD players sold the change in it and you could see how this works so basically if X equals to 220 and you're offering the rebates then this part here is gonna be well 220 minus 200 and this is just equals to 20 and then we're gonna have 350 minus this is gonna be a 10 over 20 over 20 and they cancel, then your price is just going to be 340, which is expected here, because if we rebate 10 dollars, we increase by 20 uh, 20 people a week. So then the X is 220, and we are, so it's practically selling it for 340 each, because we we're giving the 10 dollars refund. So yeah, that hopefully you understand uh, how this this works. So basically, if we simplify this one, let's just simplify the demand function. This will be 350 minus. 10 over 20 expanded out times by x is going to be 10 over 20 times by 200. So now th this one here, this is going to simplify into 350 minus 1. Actually, no, there's a plus here. forgot. This is a minus times a minus, so it's a plus. So then we're going to have a 1 over 2x. This is going to be a plus. This one, 200 divided by 20 is just 10. 10 times 10 is 100. And then simplify this further. We're going to have 450 minus... 1 over 2x, add these up. So this is our demand function. And as you can see, as you increase the amount of sales that you have while you're including the rebate, then it's basically the demand function is going to decrease here. So now if, when we look at the revenue, you can see my video link below on basically revenue uh, more detail in, but it's basically just the X amount of items you bought times the, by the price you're selling it at the X amount of items. And that's just P of X or the demand function here. So then this one's just going to be equal to 450x minus 1 over 2x squared in this case. So the, yeah, this is our revenue function. And now the second part of the question, basically how large of a rebate to the store offer to maximize its revenue. Now we can just use simple calculus to maximize revenue here. And we use the first derivative test, so we just take the derivative of this. And this is going to be equal to, well, 450 using our standard calculus rules, derivative rules, and using power rule in this case is going to be bring the 2 down, which is going to be x. So now we have this function here. And to the first derivative of the test, we basically have to see when it's increasing or decreasing the derivative. So in this case here, when, when you set it first, you get the critical points to so set it equal to 0. If it equals to 0, then x equals to 450. So this is a critical point here. And when x is less than 450, Basically, our the derivative is greater than um, yeah, it's greater than zero here. So as you can see, it's clearly greater than zero here. If this is if this is ten, it's going to be positive. And if x is greater than four fifty, the derivative is less than zero here. 
So what this is saying is that this is a this is a rate of increase. So you basically you're increasing and then you're going to be decreasing here, and this is at the 450. So then this has to be a maximum here. So this is and this is the derivative of zero here. This is the slope. So this is a max at x equals to 450 here. So if x equals 450, and also uh, you can all see this is just a parabola going downwards, so it will look something like this. So now all we do is look at the price function in this case, and the price function here for each item is 450 minus 1 over 2x. So what this is saying that at f x equals to 450, the amount of DVD players that you are selling, then you're going to have the yeah basically the maximum revenue. So if we to see how much per item we selling, we can find the rebate cost. So we just have to plug that number in. So P of 450 is going to be equal to, well, 450 minus 1 over 2, 450. That's just x here. And this one is, uh, well, if we just think about times 2 over 2, the common denominator, then this is the same stuff. So you're just going to have 1 over 2, 450, and divide it out. This is going to be equal to 225 in this case. So 225, this is going to be, number. the units are dollars per item in this case. So then P of 450 at the maximum revenue that you're selling it at $225. But remember, it's decreasing based on your rebate. So initially it's, yeah, initially it's at, you're selling at 350. This is uh, dollars per item, this is a five. So yeah, this is a five, looks bad, but anyways. So unless you're selling for this one, so now you're selling by 225. So the total rebate is gonna be this difference here. So then the rebate, how much you're refunding, is equal to, yeah, basically in this case, 350 minus 225, and this equals to $125. So what this is saying is, if you were to give back $125 for each sale, you actually will maximize your revenue. So this is, you maximize revenue by giving back money. Yeah, you can write it, uh, write it down here. Or also, it just, it just means if you sell at a, at a lower price here. But but uh, you have to recall that you're selling to people, and, and people have subjective ways of buying stuff. So if you just actually sold this for, let's say, straight up to 25 they might think it's a cheaper item here, and they, they might not buy it. So if offering this rebate, actually, they'll think they're getting a, a good discount because it initially was 350 so if they're getting this this money back discount there's a chance that they'll buy it more so it's it's uh, helps understand the consumers and and whatnot but uh, hopefully you learn from this number you could also download this dropbox link below for these notes here and uh hopefully you enjoyed and and learned and maybe uh, yeah and stay tuned for another mad easy solution